In 1943, we see the tide really turns in favor of the Allies, especially in Europe, but it's actually happening in the Pacific as well. To begin with, in 1943, the siege of Stalingrad, which doesn't quite exactly fit on this map, but would be, would be rightly right over here. It ends with the Soviets being victorious. And this is actually an incredible story. There's many movies about the siege of Stalingrad for a reason. The, the, the Soviets are able to mount a, a pretty epic counterattack by attacking the flanks of the Axis army, and they're able to push them back and defeat the Axis army. Stalingrad itself gets reduced to rubble, and you know if you actually look up pictures of it, it's, 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 it's kind of mind-blowing to just even imagine what went on there. I mean, Stalingrad right over here, although right now Leningrad in 1943 is still under siege, and if you want your stomach to really be sick, uh, look up images of, of things that happened over there. But needless to say, 1943, it's a turning, or it's not the turning point, 42 really is a turning point, but 1943, the momentum's really in the Allies' favor. The Soviets b defeat the Germans at Stalingrad. They're able to push the Germans and the Axis powers out of the Caucasus, and then they, can, they begin to advance and then the Soviets begin to advance and retake ground from the Axis powers. Now, at the same time, you might remember that at the end of 1942 in, in North Africa, in North Africa, let me go right over here, I have all these maps layered over here, you might remember that the British were able to push back the Axis army back into Libya, and then this just continues as we go into 19, as we go into 1943, and the Allied army is essentially able to kick the Axis army out of North Africa and be victorious in North Africa. And you remember, you have these the armies that are coming from Egypt. You also had, you also had allies land in Morocco and Algeria, and then they all meet up, and by mid-year. They're able to use their victory in North Africa as a launching point to start attacking the mainland of Italy. They first, they can go to Sicily, but then they go to the actual mainland. There's an attack at Salerno, and they start to, to really kind of fight their way up the Italian peninsula. Maybe I'll do this in a blue color so you can see. This is the Allies as we go into mid and late 1943 are able to take more and more of the Italian of the Italian peninsula. Now as this happens as this happens conditions in Italy aren't good. The Italian people aren't happy and they're actually able to depose Mussolini. So let me write that down. So this is in 1943 Mussolini Mussolini I think there's another S. Mussolini is deposed. Mussolini is Mussolini is deposed. And as we get later that year, Italy formally surrenders to the Allies. Now, with that said, Italy has surrendered, but the entire country of Italy, the entire Italian peninsula, there's still Axis troops there. So the Allies have to continue to slog through 1943 and 1944, and even into 1945, to completely rid Italy of the Axis powers, and especially the Germans. Now, Rome especially is fairly hard. Bombing campaigns start in Rome in order to completely get the Axis powers out of that, and that all is happening in 19, this is all happening in 1943. Now, other, other things of note, and there's many things that are happening in Europe, and once again, these are just overview videos that are happening in 1943, is American forces, as early as not early 1943, are able to start doing bombing attacks on Germany itself. And these bombing attacks only become more and more fierce as the war progresses. Another battle of note, of note in, in mid-1943 is the Battle of Kursk, Kursk. And this is really the last offensive that the Axis powers are able to mount on the Eastern Front, and they are defeated in this battle by the Soviets. And then once again, that allows the Soviets to start going on the offensive. So when you look at things from a European point of view, the Allies are definitely, uh, they have the bulk of the momentum now. They're now kind of putting the squeeze on the Axis powers. And frankly, the same thing is happening in the Pacific. The, especially the Americans, they are now on the offensive. They're able to get closer and closer and closer to Japan.